So the mere fact that you can use a filler gauge to measure the spark plug gap does not make it a spark plug gauge. A spark plug gauge or gap is a different tool altogether and in this video, I will show you the difference between these two precision tools and how you can use them to gap spark plugs. Welcome to Tool Ever, your favorite tools channel where I share my honest opinions on the tools I use. So today as I've mentioned, I will compare a spark plug gapping tool with a filler gauge, highlighting the strengths and weaknesses of each tool. But first, let's understand what each tool is. So what is a filler gauge? A filler gauge as you can see is a precision tool with a set of thin metal strips or blades. Each blade has a calibrated thickness so that you can use it to measure narrow gaps and clearances with precision. To measure a gap with a filler gauge, you can either use a single blade or combine several blades to get the thickness that will fit snugly into the gap. Then sum up the thicknesses to get the precise size of the gap or clearance. Typically, the thickness of each blade is stamped on the side. So what are the common uses of a filler gauge in the automotive industry? Besides measuring the gap of a spark plug, you can use a filler gauge to set valve clearance and measure small gaps in machines. You can also use a filler gauge to check the flatness of a surface. To learn more about filler gauges and their uses, please check the article I've linked in the description below. And what is a gapping tool? Before we look at the gapping tool, I know you're liking this video and that's why you're here. So please show me some love by giving this video a big thumbs up. And if you'd like to get more of this content, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to know when I post new content. Thank you. A gapping tool is a small disc with an edge that has an increasing calibrated thickness. Some gapping tools, however, have wire loops of varying thicknesses. Gap gauges are primarily designed for gapping spark plugs. Unlike filler gauges, a gapping tool has a feature for prying open the spark plug electrode to expand the gap. To measure the gap of a spark plug using a gapping tool, you simply insert the edge of the tool into the spark plug gap and rotate it until it gets to the tightest spot. Then read the scale to determine the size of the gap. If the gap is smaller than required, use the hole on the gap gauge to pry open the electrode and measure again. If the gap is wider, use a hammer to tap the electrode gently to close the gap. If you don't have a hammer, you can tap the spark plug electrode against a hard surface gently.
When you're gapping a spark plug with a filler gauge, you need an extra tool such as a big blade or pliers for prying open the spark plug electrode. This is what makes a gap gauge a better tool for spark plug gapping. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to let me know which tool you prefer for gapping spark plugs. Is it a gapping gauge or a filler gauge? Please let me know in the comment section. Also, I will appreciate it if you show me some support by hitting the subscribe button if you haven't already. See you in the next one.